As the name implies, a proxy server is a server that's sitting in the middle of a communication that's making requests for you. You're not directly communicating out, for instance, to a web server at Google. You're communicating to a proxy server, and that proxy server is communicating to Google. Google is replying back to the proxy server, and the proxy server is then communicating to you. We generally put these devices into the network so that we're able to control access of where people might be going. There's also some nice caching capabilities built into proxy servers so that if a lot of people are going to request the same web page, you can have a proxy server set up to cache that very popular web page and simply provide the answer immediately back to the end user without having to go make the request out to the actual web server. These devices will usually do things like URL filtering so that you can limit what URLs people can access on particular servers out there on the internet. And you can also have these devices do content scanning. So once the request is applied back from the server, you get a response from a website, you can then have the proxy server scan that information. If you're doing a download, it may do an antivirus scan. If you're pulling down a web page, it may look through that web page for known vulnerabilities just to make sure that nothing bad gets down to the end user's workstation. There are three common ways to see a proxy server set up. A common way that we were just talking about is called a forward proxy, where you have a user on an internal network talking to a proxy on an internal network. And that proxy is then going out to the internet to make the request and send the information back to the end user. There's also something called a reverse proxy. You may have users out on the internet who need to access a web server in your environment, but you don't want to give them direct access to the web server. You'll have the end users talk to the proxy, and then the proxy will then communicate to your internal web server, which then sends the response back to your internal proxy, who then sends it back to the original user out on the internet. A third type of proxy you might see is something called an open proxy. This is one that's simply out there on the internet and available for you to use, where someone on the internet is wanting to communicate to a different server, but perhaps that user doesn't want that request to seem like it came directly from them. So they'll use an open proxy on the internet to communicate to that website, and that website will then talk back to the proxy, who will then talk back to the end user. This is a little bit questionable from a security perspective because the owner of the open proxy can embed their own data within the response. So you need to be careful about using an open proxy. You have to be able to trust the proxies that you're using. Otherwise, you may be getting data that you were not intending to get being embedded directly from that proxy.